let's get it on. Being excited. It is like, mm, like mwah, the best one. And just having the profit. That's it. Hi guys, my name is Anna and I'm into the binary options trading. That's a little bit windy because I'm in Dubai Resort and I'm at the Lamborghini. So guys, if you want to know more, if you want to get more results, profits, knowledge, you can just proceed to my Telegram link, to my Telegram channel where I post 12 signals per day and you can use it and get the same. Hi guys, here's Miana. I am right there on the Quartex platform. We're gonna be trading today, short trading, one minute interval, and that's gonna be one of the best strategies that you can ever use, that you can ever just create, find, and test. If you are the beginner, that's gonna be the finest strategy for you. So keep it up, look at that, and see how it's gonna be going for us. Let's get it on being excited because what this is gonna be the combo of the two indicators which truly the best one and we started with the 700 so prediction and aspirations from that trade Gerby oh my god I hope it's gonna be all fine with this period and 10 seconds candles because if you're gonna be just taking 15 or 30 seconds with this type of strategy that's gonna be the most boring video in the world because it's gonna be just working giving us profits and that's it but we are right here for a little bit of action MACD yes Second one, Stokas Castillo. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Look at these perfect lines of Stokas Castillo of MACD. How actually it is combined. And plus, we have the candles from the MACD, which is working even better and even earlier. And plus, Bollinger Bands. I also love it. Ah, uh, isn't like my birthday? That's gonna be nicest. Okay, we're just done. I am trying not to be so, so excited because sometimes you're getting emotionally turned on and that's bad for the analysis and logic. And we gotta go. I already can see what's going on right there. What do you think about that? Look at that. Look at the MACD. Look at the stochastic oscillator. The green line getting downwards. Stochastic oscillator lines get crossed a little bit earlier. And if you can see, actually, it has started to show us, to show us what's going on at the same time or almost at the same time as MACD candles. So that's why I love stochastic oscillator. And it can be perfectly used even without any candles because the crossing of it is working way earlier than the MACD. MACD giving us actually that not with the crossing, it's giving us just with the green line. It's already went downward, that's enough. And the crossing happens a little bit after because this is just the principle that it is indicated based on. But the candles giving us usually precise, precise time frame, timing. And yeah, we're just falling and just having the profit. That's it. How about this one? That's a little bit more complicated because the candles of the MACD switching and playing the stochastic as little lines getting actually hard to readable. Nobody understands what's going on. But um, I never thought that there is some situations that cannot be handled with that strategy. You know, the market is crazy. And I actually chose the three fields because with this type of strategy, in most of the cases, we can be pretty sure what's going on. Ball in your bands when it's smaller, that means that we're gonna be expecting some changes. But you can see that it's getting smaller even with some candles that can be switching. And um, what I love in MACD in crossing of that line, uh, in some cases where stochastic oscillator, you can see that the lines getting combined because we have all kind of 
high volatility, small fluctuations, and we cannot read it. With the MACD, we have two signs. So the lines, yeah, the green line went downward, but it never crossed. Candle showed us everything, but the lines never crossed. And that means we don't have the massive tendency. So it is like, mm, like mwah, the best one. Are we gonna get into that? Or are we gonna wait for some green candle from the MACD? I think we're gonna just end with this downward trend and then we're gonna get upward. Right there, we enter even before any specific, any, any, any specific signs from the indicators. Yes, it's starting. I was like, it's starting now. I was about to say it. Ah. Let's wait for that. Oh my, oh my. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Where is it? Where is my profit? It is right there. Now, <laughs> I'm just like the granny, you know? Oh, my son, my grandson. Mm, the best one, the beauteous one. Um, seems like we're rising and we are rising, but I'm just like with this candles of the MACD. In most of the cases, actually, we can understand that it's something went bad or wrong and it's getting complicated with the candles of the MACD because lines oh, it never crossed. Oh my, that's bad. That's bad. 800. Maybe it's gonna be okay and enough. So we definitely decided to get more downward and then upward, I have the goosebumps. That's bad. No, it maybe how many seconds? Oh, it's 15, yes, 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 it's time. So we ended, we just ended. Oh my, oh, I'm getting nervous. I've been so complimenting that damn strategy, those damn indicators, and what we have at the end of it. <laughs> okay, not gonna say anything. I get misguided by my own expectations because Emma said he told me everything. The candles were bad. That were bad. Oh. I need to fix all of that. I need to fix that damn situation again. Am I risking? Oh yes, you know how I hate to enter just right there in the middle, but they all <laughs> rest situations were even worse. I have some space to go more downward. <laughs> With the green candles, why? Why are you doing that? Why? You decided just to destroy me? You wanna say that's the bottom? We are just playing. I know, stochastic accelerator in the dangerous position. We are at the bottom, lines getting closer. Candles started to play with the green. But at least the end of it, it was too soon. It was too small to get that back again. Uh, mm -mm. So we are at the end of the trend. That's why I hate the middle. Just as I told you. Oh my God. Uh, sorry for that. I, I, I think that was the awful noise for all of you. But getting into that with the upward trend would be too soon. So thanks God. Of course, there's supposed to be the end. We're supposed to change it. But the timing was like that's the middle. If you feel if that's the middle, that could be actually the end, but it's not about the position. But how soon and how fast are gonna be all that changing? And we just get in with all of that. I'm doing that automatically because I'm doing that almost every day. I need that. I need that. I need that. I need that. Uh-huh. I need that code. Paste it. <laughs> Oh, and leave in. And just leave in. Mm. I am not desperate. 
I am not upset. I am not taking all of my words back. If you are the beginner, if you want to have some profitable results and you want to have that for sure, that strategy is just for you. Please be attentive. Please don't be emotional. Please be quite, quite careful because this combination, Stochastic Accelerator and MACD, you may actually replace Bollinger Bands with something like the Dungeon Channel or or anything like that, but it's gonna be still working because these two indicators are actually one of the best ones for this type of short trade-ins. And if you are not so experienced, you can actually try with the 15 second candles. I think that's gonna be easier. So guys, we just done me being so excited, but so ashamed for the one damn lose that I got. But anyway, that was profitable in the end and I had a lot of the pleasure.